is practical. Hello, I'm Portia, and today I will be going over the fluffy cloud blanket. Uh, this blanket is very soft and squishy. It has lots of texture. And it's only a two row repeat, so it's very, very easy. I'm going to be working up my sample in Karen Simply Soft, which is this. Um, just so you can have another example of this was made with a, a seven millimeter crochet hook. It's a, a weight of four yarn. Um, however, I'm not sure what kind of yarn it is because it was gifted to me unbanded. Um, so that was just another example of how fluffy and, and squishy this pattern is. Now you can use the recommended size which is normally a five or 5.5 for a weight of four. But um, I highly encourage you to play around with some different hooks um, and different weights of yarn just to get an idea of what, uh, what level of squishiness you prefer. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into making this blanket. I'm actually reshooting this blanket because the first one with this yarn was a little bit hard for folks to see, I apologize. So I will be making this same blanket again, um, just with a lighter yarn. I do love these Ogos because you can just hop right into it without much ado. Um, I'll be doing this one with a, a J hook and this um, just like the, the unbedded one it feels like a four this one is a four but it's a little thinner to me I mean it's Karen Simply Soft so I'll be using a, a J hook for this one we begin with a magic ring so I usually just wrap my yarn around two fingers like so and then grab the back and just pull it on through grab your working yarn and just tighten that down to lock it in place I always crochet over this tail because it makes it easier to cinch up your ring later we're going to start by making a single crochet into the ring and then I find it easy if you turn it, slide your hook right in between your single crochet and you can just pull up a loop right in between it and basically single crochet on top of that single crochet. It's called a stack single crochet and it brings you up to the height of your double crochet. Now go ahead and put three more double crochets into the ring. All right, after you get four double crochets, because this stack single crochet counts as a double crochet, you're done with that side and you're gonna chain two for your corner. Now go ahead and place four more double crochets into the ring. All right, after you get four more double crochets in the ring, you formed another side. Go ahead and chain two for another corner. Go ahead and make your third side, which is four more double crochets. All right, go ahead and chain two. You have your three sides here and you've gone ahead and chained two for your corner, your third corner. Now four double crochets in the ring for your last side. All 
All right, you should have a total of 16 double crochets. And then you're going to close this with a half double crochet join. But before you do that, go ahead and pull your loop long so you don't lose any stitches. Grab a hold of your tail and slide it into your ring. Then make a loop basically with your tail and slide your tail into itself. You're basically making a knot right there. And before you cinch this knot closed, you need to tighten your ring as tight as you would like it. So pull on this tail that you've crocheted over until your ring is as close as you would like it. And then pull your tail all the way to secure that. And then later on when you um, sew in your tail, just sew it around your ring to secure that further. Just give that more, more strength. You just sew that in with your darning needle. And now let's go ahead and finish this round with a half double crochet. right into your stacked single crochet. Sorry, my yarn is so squeaky. I put on lotion before, um, like right before, because I had some ashy hands. Uh, so you might get a little squeakitude. I apologize. After you finish this first round, we're gonna be flipping back and forth, but in all honesty, you don't really have to start turning until your second round. So, um, to the end of your second round. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead right into this corner with a single crochet and stack another single crochet right on top of that. And then you're going to double crochet into that same corner. And that's just half your corner done. When we come back around, we'll finish that corner. So now for the pattern. The pattern is going to be worked with four double crochets, as you might have guessed. And what you're going to mainly be using are the two double crochets in the middle. So you're going to skip a double crochet. And then I want you to front post double. So you grab the post of your double crochet. So normally you would go right into the top, but we're going around the stitch just like so. Okay, front post double crochet around that second double crochet. Then you're going to make a V stitch in between the second and third double crochet. And the V stitch is a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet. And then you will front post double around that third double crochet. So around the third double crochet, front post double. Okay, so you have your two front post doubles and then your V-stitch in between the second and third double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and skip that fourth double crochet and into the corner, you're going to make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Skip, okay, double crochet, double crochet. chain two, then double crochet, double crochet, all into that same corner. And now you're going to repeat this side. So you're skipping the first double crochet, then you're going to front post double around that second double crochet. In between the second and third double crochet, you're going to place a V-stitch, which is double crochet, 
chain one, double crochet, and around that third, double crochet, front post double, skip the next double crochet, and then into the corner, double crochet two times, chain two, and double crochet two more times. Skip, front post double. Oops, it'll help if I yarn over first. Okay, skip a double crochet, front post double, yarn over, V-stitch in between, go ahead front post double, and skip that last one into the corner double crochet, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet, double crochet. Now that we're at the end, we're just going to yarn over and then half double crochet right into the top of this stack single crochet and chain one. Now we have to start turning because as you can see, you have a concave right here. Your V-stitch is away from you. So we're not going to work on this side. We have to work on a side where the V-stitch is sticking out at us. Okay, into this first corner you're going to make a stacked single crochet, and then double crochet, You have two double crochets sitting next to each other. You're going to place two double crochets right in between those first two double crochets. So you're skipping a double crochet, placing two double crochets in between, and then skipping two double crochets. And it'll bring you back up to your V-stitch from the previous round. You're going to front post double around that first leg of the, the V-stitch from the previous round and then you're going to V-stitch in between in that chain one space. You're gonna V-stitch. Okay, and then around that second leg, you're gonna front post. Again, in between these last two double crochets, so you're skipping skipping two double crochets and you're going to place two double crochets right in between and this is the this is the first round of the repeat into the corner you're going to do the same thing you're going to place two double crochets chain two two double crochets so the same thing you've been doing Now 
Now you're on another side. You're gonna skip a double crochet, place two double crochets in between. Then you're gonna skip two double crochets and then around that first leg, you're gonna place a front post double crochet. Then in the chain one place, in the chain one space, you're gonna place a V stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And around that second protruding leg, you're gonna place another front post double. Skip two, one, two, and then in between, you're gonna place two double crochets. Skip that last double crochet of the round and into the corner, you're gonna corner, which is two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. I'll leave you to finish going around and I will catch back up to you on this last corner. All right, now that you're back at the end of round three, you're going to double crochet twice into that last corner and then half double crochet to join to the top of that stacked single crochet that you started the round with. Go ahead and chain one and turn. Now this is the second part, the second round of the repeat. So either you're gonna when you turn it, you're gonna either have four stitches lined up here, um, like you do on this round, or you would just have two, like you did on the last round. So if you turn and you just have the two, you know you're gonna work two double crochets in between. Um, and if you turn and you have the four, you're gonna work a front post, you're gonna skip one, work a front post double, and then V-stitch in between the two sets of double crochet, and then front post double around that third stitch. And you're skipping the outer double crochets just like you're skipping the outer double crochets on um, these. So here we go with round four. You start with a stacked single crochet and a double crochet into that corner to start that first corner. You're gonna skip that first double crochet and then front post around the second double crochet into that space in between the second and third. You're going to make a double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then you're gonna front post around this third stitch and you're skipping that last stitch and that first stitch of the next section. So you're skipping two six, sorry, skip two double crochets and then front post around that first protruding leg. So you have the two protruding legs there and then you have two concave legs. And this is what makes the textured pattern. This is what makes it look so, it's what makes it so soft and squishy. And then into the chain one space, V stitch, and front post double around that third, well, it's around the second protruding leg here. And that's basically the V-stitch from the last round. So when you turn around for round five, that V-stitch you just made, is you see how it's sticking out at you? So that's a good way to know which side you're working on if you put your project down a lot. So you're gonna skip two, one, two, and then front post, and then V-stitch in that space in between. And then you can go ahead and front post 
then skip that last double crochet skip that one and then you're going into the corner you're cornering into the corner which is two double crochets chain two two double crochets I'll do one more side with you and then I'm sitting down <laughs> All right, onto the second side, you're going to skip one front post double. Then in between, you're going to V stitch, which was a double crochet, chain one double crochet. And you're going to front post double around that next stitch. And then you're going to skip one and two. And then you should see a protruding, two protruding legs here. You're going to front post double around the first one. You're going to V-stitch into that chain one space. And then you're going to front post double around the second double crochet that is protruding at you. You're going to skip one and two, then front post double crochet. In between, you're going to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then you're going to, I don't know why Karen Simply Soft is so splitty. <laughs> it's soft and I love the sheen, but yeah, go ahead and front post double around the next and skip that last double crochet, then corner into the corners. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And go ahead and finish your third and your fourth side. I'll meet back up to you here when we're working on that last corner. All right, now that we're back at this last corner here, we're going to double crochet twice. And then yarn over and half double crochet right into that beginning single crochet, stack single crochet there. Chain one, and you can turn your work. And those are the, the two main rounds that you're going to keep repeating until this gets as wide as you would like um, for sake of the tutorial I'm not going to really go through a bunch but I will go ahead and show you how I did the border um, you can leave it borderless um, and this is what I had so far on the other one so with no border it's eh it's still pretty, you know, I just like it tight instead of as loose, but you know, that's personal preference. So you can just keep going like that. This is how it looks when it doesn't have a border. So if you're cool with that, then you can just bypass this part and, <laughs> you know, but I made a very simple border. And all I'm doing on the first round of the border is single crochet. But you're not going to single crochet into the chain one spaces. Completely ignore those. Just single crochet into every double crochet around. And in the corners, you're going to do a single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So we can go ahead and just start this corner with a single crochet. And we will complete the corner at the end. Um, and we're going to omit the chain two and do a half double crochet join so just single crochet 
all the way around. You're skipping that chain one space and single crocheting into the double crochet only. Here's another chain one space. We're just skipping that and single crocheting in the double crochet only. This first round really just tightens and solidifies your, your edges. The next round will give it um, more stability and make it a little sturdier. And then that last round is just to finish it off with a neat little edge. First corner, I'm just going to single, chain two, and single, all in that same corner. All right, here we go to this last corner. I've put my single crochet there. I'm just gonna yarn over and half double crochet right into that first single crochet and chain one. Um, at this point, you're not flipping anymore. Uh, go ahead and just yarn over and half double crochet into that same corner. And then half double crochet into each stitch around. So you can see it tightened up a little and now we're gonna give it some more stability and sturdiness. On the corners, you're gonna half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. All right, here we go in our first corner. We're just gonna half double crochet right into the corner, chain two, and then half double crochet into that same corner, and then continue half double crocheting down the row. Half double crocheting down the side, rather. All right, here we are on the last corner. We've gone ahead and placed the half double crochet. Now we're just gonna to join to that first half double crochet with a half double crochet join. And now chain one into that same corner. You're gonna just place a single crochet 
and then uh, you can either single crochet into the back loop of every stitch down this side or you can pick up two loops if you can see here you have this is the normal back loop of a single crochet but you also have this second uh, stitch that or the second loop you can uh, back loop into and it's very easy if you just step down through the top to pick up both of those loops it'll make your um, back loop single crochet is a little bit more sturdy not necessary you can just do the one uh, but I like to do the two because that's just me so personal preference whichever one you would like you just back loop or loops single crochet down this entire side when you get to the corner just place three single crochets in the corner and then back loop or loops down all the sides and then when you get to the last corner you're going to do the same three double or three single crochets in the corner because that's going to be your last one you don't need to half double crochet join because you're not trying to stay in that corner you're going to be done So that was that one now we're at the corner single crochet in the corner three times and you're basically just turning around that corner and now that you're on another side either just pull that first that one or you can stab down and grab two loops there but just go ahead and do that all the way around Now, when you come back around and you're in your last corner, just remember to single crochet two more times since you started with one single crochet and then just a regular slip stitch to join. And you can snip your yarn and bind off. Uh oh, sorry. And there you go. Thank you all. I appreciate your patience. For those who watched the first edition of this this blanket <laughs> um, with the dark yarn, I'm so sorry about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoy making these blankets and feel free to tag me in social media if you make them. Um, I would love to see what you do with them. Thank you for joining.